Hey everybody, this is Chaplain Anthony Kelly. Today as I'm drinking my morning coffee, I want to talk to you about the five steps of becoming an army chaplain. So stay tuned for the entire video and I promise you, you're going to learn the five steps. The first step to becoming an army chaplain is that a prayer. You have to pray. You have to be in tune with your God and your faith group and you have to uh, be in that uh, place where you'll be able to know it's a calling. Coming, becoming an army chaplain and getting into the army is not just a job. It's not a nine to five job and it's not a profession, so to speak, but it is a calling. And it is something that you, if you're an army chaplain, you need to feel God's calling to do this. Uh, because quite frankly, becoming an army chaplain, it's hard work as a chaplain. Uh, there's a lot of stuff and things you have to deal with, such as deployments, in long TDYs and separation from family. So it can be a, a very daunting, daunting career path. Uh, so you need to pray. Secondly, you need to make sure that your family is on board. Uh, they have to be there with you along the way in every step of the process. And for my family, my wife was very, very unsure about the army. Uh, but as time grew on, she was like, I was like, okay, honey, I met my obligation year. So you want me to go ahead and get out? She said, no, stay in. I feel this is what God wants us to do. And so I stayed in. And now I'm you know, facing retirement soon. So you got to make sure that it is a calling. Uh, so make sure that your family is involved in that calling as well. Now, thirdly is your denomination, your faith group. They need to be on board and they need to be able to endorse you as a minister or a rabbi or an imam or whatever in good standing. And so they have to endorse you to be an army chaplain. And without that endorsement, you cannot be an army chaplain. You must be endorsed, meaning you have to do all the things that your denomination, your faith group requires of you in order to release you into military service. So you have to meet and check the box on all the things that they want you to do. And without that endorsement, even as an army chaplain, and you have that endorsement, if for whatever reason you tick off your faith group, they can pull that endorsement and you can no longer serve as an army chaplain. And then you'll eventually be mustered out of the army. Uh, so make sure that you're very much in a good standing and maintain that good standing with your faith group, your denomination. Also, you have to have education. There's educational requirements that you must meet in order to be an army chaplain. It's usually an MDiv, a Master of Divinity, or a doctorate, or an equivalent of that Master of Divinity. And yet, usually within a 90-hour program, 90 credits. And so there might be a little bit of give and take. I think the army will take no less than 82. And it's up to your denomination whether you can go on and be under that 90 or not. But at least you'll be able to meet that Army standard at 82 hours. Also, you need to have your medical stuff squared away. What do I mean by that? Height and weight. You have to be able to you know, be physically fit, be able to match the Army standards, uh, being in the military as uh, far as how much you weigh. So if you're way overweight, you better lose it first. You got to be able to run. Uh, so start jogging now if you're considering army chaplaincy and make sure that you're, you know, tall, thin, trim, all that good stuff. And if you're, not, you're shorty like me uh, and you struggle to run, uh, make sure that you're at least, you know, within that height, weight standard. And also your medical has to be cleared. What do I mean by that? Well, the medical stuff, all the, any surgeries, any diagnosis, any diseases, have to meet that military standard, be within there. So if you are diagnosed, for example, if you're schizophrenic or bipolar and you're on meds for that, most likely you're not going to be able to get in. ADHD on meds, asthma on meds, uh, you're not probably not going to be able to get in. Diabetes, where you have to have insulin shots, most likely you're not going to be able to get in. Uh, now there are waivers and you have to check into those waivers, whether they will allow that and how, how really the army, desperate the army is to, and needs bodies. But what I recommend is that you call a chaplain recruiter. 
Chaplain recruiters know all the current ins and outs, all the current regulations of that will allow you to get into the military. And so those are my five things that will help you decide whether you know the Army is right for you. Five steps to becoming an Army chaplain. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. It really helps. Uh, and for my uh, influence to grow throughout the YouTube community. And also, um, I encourage you to share this content, share it with others that are considering Army chaplaincy. May God bless you and take care of you today.